Puddle of Mud are known for some of their early 2000s rock hits like Blurry and Control, among others. Unfortunately, in the past, the band's frontman Wes Scantlin also had a number of high-profile incidents and battles with substance abuse issues. Thankfully, those issues appear to be in the rear view, with Scantlin reporting that he's since gotten clean and sober. But in early 2020, the band went extremely viral for a different reason. It's been almost three years since Puddle of Mud stopped by SiriusXM Studios and performed a cover of Nirvana's About a Girl. And unfortunately, during that gig, vocalist Wes Scantlin faced some serious vocal struggles. Here's a short clip for context of what I'm talking about. Easy friend, I do. The entire cover pretty much went something like that, with Scantlin clearly struggling to sing. And we all have off days, and generally speaking, Wes Scantlin doesn't have these type of vocal issues when you go to see him live, especially since getting clean and sober. And now in a new interview, Scantlin was asked about this infamous performance, and I thought he had an interesting response. Before we get into that, I want to welcome back many of our returning viewers. A lot of you haven't subscribed yet, and if you could just take a quick second to hit that subscribe button, it's the best way to support this channel, and I would really appreciate it. Speaking in a conversation with Song Facts, Scantlin was asked about that infamous cover of Nirvana's About a Girl, to which he offered a perspective on what was happening at the time of that recording. He said, I was acclimating and it was a tiring day, and I had already performed five or six songs at one time. And by the time I got to that one, which I shouldn't have even done because I cannot nail that song, I was a little tired. It looked and sounded like total shit, but live to fight another day, dude. You could see Wes really straining vocally during that performance. You could also see it in his neck, so his explanation does make sense. He also talked about the band's new album, which he says is nearly finished, the follow-up to their 2019 record, Welcome to Galvania, which is particularly interesting because they're working with the same producer who did their debut album, Come Clean, and also their record, Life on Display. He said the album is basically done, it's getting mixed and mastered and sprinkling the Disney magical fairy awesome stuff on top of it is John Kurzweg who did Come Clean and Life on Display. He's making it happen man, it's incredible, it's wonderful to listen to. I pat myself on the back and give credit and love to each and every person that collaborated with me on this next record. I do think it's a big deal to see Wes working with the producer who did Come Clean, that was a good album from Puddle of Mud. It'll be interesting to see what that new music sounds like. So that's the latest update from Rockfeed. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, do us a favor and hit that button and check out the recommended video up on your screen.